It literally looks like it's meant to be made like this from the start. You can't fault it whatsoever. G'day guys, welcome to another episode of the Evolve Weekly. Today we have a special episode all about hydro dipping and spray painting an Evolve board. So hydro dipping is another way to give your board a unique finish. Um, it's a process of dipping a product into water that has a design floating on the surface essentially. It can only be done to non-porous items, so unfortunately the bamboo decks cannot be done, but the battery case and truck parts are completely fine to dip with the electrics and batteries removed. The carbon decks are again completely fine to do with the battery and electrics removed and also the grip tape needs to be taken off. So as you can see here, this battery case has been hydro dipped. Uh, to do it, I had to remove all electrics from it. So the motor controller, the battery, the switch and the charging port all had to come out. And the battery case had to be clean for the dipping to be done. So I've seen two other boards that come to mind that have been hydro dipped. So one was a skull and one was a camo dip. Um, haven't seen too many others around, but you know, it does give your board a unique finish, really unique coating and often it creates like a one-off board for you. Another way to give your carbon board a unique look would be a complete spray paint job. I uh, haven't seen one done yet, but I reckon it'd be pretty cool to see. Hey, I'm Josh from Unique Skin Coatings, and today we're spray painting and hydro dipping some Evolve boards. So today we're dipping the trucks and a battery case of a Bamboo GT and spray painting the deck of a Carbon GT. So the first step is disassembling the board. We have to make sure all nuts, bolts, bearings, bushes, all the electrics are out and ready for sanding. So the second step is sanding. We need to make sure we rough these parts up in order for the primer and the paint to stick. So the next step is applying the primer. The primer fills any scratches left over from sanding and gives the paint a good surface to stick to. Now that we've got the primer on, the next step is to apply the colour. So for this project, we're going to apply three to four coats of colour, letting it dry off 10 to 15 minutes in between each coat. So the next step is to apply the graphics. Once the graphics are applied, we seal it up with clear coat and we're all done. Whoa, whoa, that's pretty uh, psychedelic, isn't it? Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's so cool. It's, mate, you can't even fault it. Oh, it looks absolutely awesome. Green and gold, Aussie, this is good. Yeah, nice. Very, very cool. It's nice and shiny, gloss. Yeah, it looks, looks nice. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it's given you a bit of inspiration to customize your Evolve board. Remember, if you've got any cool designs, we'd love to see them, so please send them in to us. Until next time, catch you later.